everybody it's mr g again uh mr giles and uh happy halloween if you're watching this today um i had a version of how to add and download sounds to your pivot animation it was not good it had a lot of glitches in it i'm trying to fix that right now so um i'm gonna start that over we have free sound effects i reached out to alan becker years ago the maker of animation versus animator he's incredible and i just asked him hey do you have sound effects that my students could use and he sent me some sound effects and I'm making those available um, online. So all you have to do is type in bit.ly forward slash digi sound FX. And it's going to take you to this folder. And I'm going to open the folder. I want to you how to download these sounds and use them in your own projects. So it's a folder called to give away. That's how you sent to me. And uh, I love that. And then um, I, we've added some sounds to this, but basically what you do is you'll start in uh, this view. I'm going to move my, make my camera a little smaller here. You have a couple ways to download. First, to hear a sound, you double click on the sound, I think. Try again. There we go. And you should hear that sound playing. Um, and if you're like, oh, yeah, I like that sound. Then you, there's a little, there's, there's the hoverable download right here. When you hover over, there's the three dots, and that gives you a download. Or you can right click and select download. So you have three options, whichever one you like the best. I always encourage people to set your browser to allow you to name your downloads. But if it doesn't, it goes to your downloads. I like to tell everyone, put it in your downloads, save it, boing, one. And then um, it's alphabetical. Uh, so, you know, scroll down. It goes way far and it keeps refreshing. The sound that I find the most useful for like pivot, stick figure, fight animations, whatever, are there's there's three. Um, I wrote them on my board. You can't see it. But it's footsteps, punch, thud, and whoosh, W-H-O-O-S-H. These steps, these sounds are kind of like the bread and butter of animation. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get LMNOP. I'm going to go find punch, pencil, pencil, pencil. There's a whole bunch of stuff with pencils. It's kind of cool. He does a bunch of drawing. Um, so I'm going to grab this punch wave here. I'm going to download it using that mem option. Punch one, save. And you can save a couple of different punches so you don't have the same sound over and over again. So that's how you download those sounds. And then to put them in to ClipChamp, let's go to ClipChamp now. I'm going to sign in because I forgot to sign in. Um, I have a lot of video on how to sign in to ClipChamp, so you can look that up if you want. I'm going to go to my video here that I've been working on. And um, sleep pretty cool. you go to import media. You can drag files into ClipChamp also. Um, these files are not saved like if you change computers they're not going to be there for you um there is a way to do that if you upgrade i believe you can store your files on their server but it's storing it on your computer so just to, to keep the aware so um by the way here's a trick that you should really do hold down the ctrl control button with one finger and then click on all the files you want to import and you're like oh no i don't want footsteps too i already have that one so you can control click again and it will get rid of it, just that one i open and it brings all, all those sounds in. So now we have sounds in. And the next thing is to do is make them uh, do something cool with your sounds. And uh, I'll just give you a very short little thing here. You take a sound. Let's say um, I'm going to find the place where the punch happens, right? I'm going to wait for the fist right there. The fist connects with the face. That is where a sound would be happening. So I'm going to put the punch sound effect. And I'm just going to click this plus sign. I can even hear the sound, right? Plus, it drops it right in. Let's just take a look. Um, boom. Then I'm going to have a sound for when his body hits the ground. And I'm going to find right where his body first hits it, right there. I'm going to put a, let's see, I'm going to put punch hard. Pop. Bam. There we go. Listening. I think I want it back a little earlier. Yeah, that feels better. And then the only other thing I want to add in, I'll show you the whoosh sound. See when they turn around right there? I'm going to add a whoosh right there. 
I'm going to put it like right because so fast. I'm going to go whoosh. I'm going to hit plus. So that. I'm going to add another one for when his character turns. Right before his character turns. Okay, I'm going to put another whoosh right. I'm going to put it right there. There's just like right now after each other. So close that you can't even hear the difference. I'm going to move it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Punk. Bam. And uh, there you go. A few other things to know. Sound effects cannot be stretched out longer than they are. But there is a trick in ClipChamp. You can speed them up. You could speed them up or slow them down. So if I, if I click on this and I say I slow it down, that sound is now, let's listen to it. Let's see how this works. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. If you have a better, higher quality sound effect, like uh, that'll be better. These are pretty high quality sound effects. So you can mess with them. You can speed them up to make them shorter. You can You can also cut them off early. If you have a sound, um, you want to go on yeah sound is is a uh, is wibbly wobbly you can fade the sound out a little bit if the sound ends weird um you can change how loud it is if that effect is too loud let's say this punch is just too big i can lower that volume i find you have to lower it quite a bit to get a difference so here we go let's listen to that okay that was too too quiet click on it again raise it up go back to the beginning hit play there we go. I like it. So hopefully that is helping you understand how to download those sound effects from that folder. They're available for everybody everywhere in the world. Um, and two, how to um, bring them in to ClipChamp and then how to work with them while you're in ClipChamp. If you have questions about this, um, please post a question. Or if you like what you see, like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And I know that's so cheesy and generic and people say that but um it does help uh it does help every every uh subscription helps and brings more awareness to the my channel so i i appreciate it so much and i appreciate uh all your kind words and um thank you and thanks to peter bone for making this amazing program and whoever made ClipChamp, thank you because it's such a great browser-based video editing program, free and available to everybody. I love it. That's something I love. All right, have a great day, and hopefully this video is not glitchy.